Above ground, Chelsea Market is a foodie's dream, but down below, in what used to be an old boiler room, a mind-bending art experience just opened. It shows off New York City in a new kind of light. If a machine can learn, can it dream? These two questions is really my personal challenge. Since the beginning of my journey as an artist, almost nine years ago, I was very focused on how to tell the invisible story of data. I'm Rafika Nadal, I'm a media artist and director. As a director, I've been working with my team the last five years, trying to create experiences using data and algorithms. We have been challenged by the invisible force of data. As a media artist, I highly believe making invisible visible is one of the most exciting experiences for humankind. And the data we are leaving behind us, the technology we are using every day, is something we have to be aware and we have to be alert. And in my work, I'm trying to find the poetry inside those data sets to create a kind of a new meaning beyond what the data means. For this exhibition, we are trying to push the boundaries of many fields, starting from media arts, technology, science, but also I think it's a beautiful opportunity for us to reinvent the cinema. This level of enormous transformation is only seen in a science fiction movie. <laughs> For me as an artist, dreaming an idea like that and make it happen in front of you is pretty much the core inspiration and motivation behind our studio. Art House is truly making that motivation happen by supporting the vision, supporting the process, and Art House is one of those inspiring environments that supports this vision. The Arctic House mission is to educate, inspire, and empower. And a big part of that is getting to know the artists that we work with, getting to know their ideas, why they create, and being able to translate that information and that inspiration and share it with our audience. Hopefully the audience start to come up with incredible ideas or they have the desire to try something new or make something that makes them happy. It's a data set uh, from the modern architecture. Basically, we train a neural network with all the modern architects and their buildings. And what we see here is a called snapshot. Snapshot of a neural network. What it does is like tells us like where exactly it started to learn or like what kind of problems we are having. But I intentionally try to let the machine not learn exactly and, um, and try to always have this little bit capacity of imagination. In Mission Hallucination, we collected the world's largest data set, 113 million images of every single photo that AI can go online right in New York and can download. Then we wrote another algorithm, find the people, such as selfies. We erased those intimate moments and only left the city itself. And at the end, we created this story by using incredible 18-channel projection setup and a 32-channel sound system, and it became into a story of half an hour, how a machine can truly dream a city. I think technology is a mirror for humankind, and we always find those innovations and discoveries whenever, whenever, however it works but how we use it for our purpose. Can we use, for example, AI to enhance our cognitive capacity? Can we learn better? Can we remember better? What will happen if we have a chance to like, create a machine that enhances our capacity of imagination? I highly believe these are the things that are much more exciting than just try to focus on the negative sides or impact of technology. Now, as an artist, I can take my brush, put it in the mind of a machine, and paint with machine consciousness. 
my aim here to create an emotional impact on the audience in a way that, that creates an inspiring moment in life that truly allows you to think beyond technology's capacities. Like this idea of using art as an imagination tool, improve your everyday beliefs and life, and how we can look at technology from a fresh perspective is one of the main reasons of this exhibition. I was eight years old when I watched the movie Blade Runner that truly transformed my life. Since then, I never stopped imagining the near future. And having a home like Arctic House to find a place for these ideas that are beyond everyday tools, beyond museum and galleries, is a something very special. With art and technology, it's a such a new medium where we don't know much about it. And it is Arctic House's duty to really execute and showcase this medium in the right way. With our tech house, we work really hard to develop the taste of this medium and elevate this appreciation, elevate the experience in the public. Our tech house is one of the first examples of truly believing the artistic creation using technology and science. It's not very common that you can find a place where you have multiple channel of projections, infinite imagination, and a beautiful curated art experiences. This level of collaborations, truly pushing the boundaries of art and technology, truly reinventing an idea, discovering a new ways of telling stories for humankind, is one of the meaning of being an artist. Art Tech House is a perfect example for artists like me and many others to imagine and to create something fresh. And we are letting people to witness how a space can learn and how it can dream with the help of AI, it's the future of cinema.